back. I'm Teresa Moran. I'm the owner of Acadiana Comics and Collectibles. I think I started here in 1985. I was very curious about who our customers are, and I erroneously believe that it was probably maybe college-age kids or high school and college-age kids, so I did a research of my own, only to be surprised to find out that you can't pigeonhole anyone, any customer, into a certain area because they're from a variety of uh, of walks of life is professional, non-professional, blue collar, white collar, students, non-students, local working people. I was shocked to find out there it was a variety. There was no certain type person or age or that buy comics. It's all ages. I think the younger people coming up, that's their world. The digital world is their world, and they probably won't miss the paper too much because they never kn knew it too much. And uh, that's where the the industry itself is expanding into the digital world, we're able to offer both. So that's good because I think it will actually make the industry have the best of both worlds, I think, at least for a while. I'm Andre Dugal. I'm a 19-year-old visual arts major, and I like comic books. So I get them, used to get them at Books A Million and other bookstores around Lafayette and then now you can get them on the phone or on the computer or other digital sources like that so I, I prefer that now just have it right then and there it's, it's almost kind of not worth going out to a bookstore every week to get something that'll only take me a short amount of time to read like ebooks, electronic comic books are becoming just as prominent in the world of consumer media, but for those who still enjoy the touch of comic panels, luckily they have friendly shops like Acadiana Comics and Collectibles to fulfill that nostalgia.